Greetings to all, and welcome back to our ongoing financial news series. In this episode, we're going to explore a hot topic in the world of economics, the proposed free market trading of the Iraqi dinar. The Iraqi dinar, Iraq's national currency, has seen its fair share of upheaval in recent decades. Following the Gulf War in the 1990s, the dinar underwent a drastic devaluation, which led to economic turmoil and a significant disparity between the official exchange rate and the rate on the black market. A recent article by financial analyst Newshound Guru Claire suggests that the Iraqi government is contemplating a move to allow the dinar to float freely in the market to tackle these persistent issues. Saleh, a key figure quoted in the article, explains that this move would entail the Central Monetary Authority stepping back from being the primary distributor of foreign currency, paving the way for market-driven entities to take over, despite their relatively limited and feeble foreign exchange reserves. Some view the free market trading of the Iraqi dinar as a potential remedy for the currency's unstable valuation against the U.S. dollar. The government's aim in permitting open market trading of the dinar is to establish an exchange rate that more accurately mirrors the currency's actual worth. The potential advantages of this approach include 1. Enhanced transparency, with a floating exchange rate, the dinar's value would be shaped by market supply and demand rather than a government-mandated rate offering a clearer picture of its true value. 2. Economic stability, an exchange rate that reflects the real value of the dinar could lead to a more stable Iraqi economy by narrowing the gap between the official rate and the black market rate, which has historically been a source of economic fluctuation. 3. Attracting investments, a currency that is perceived as stable and transparent could draw more foreign investment providing investors with a more transparent assessment of the risks and potential rewards associated with investing in Iraq. Nonetheless, transitioning to a floating exchange rate system presents its own set of hurdles. The article points out that the market-driven entities expected to replace the central bank's role in supplying foreign currency might possess only a limited and fragile reserve of foreign exchange. This could result in considerable short-term volatility in the dinar's value as the market adapts to these new conditions. Moreover, the government might need to introduce additional economic reforms and policies to facilitate a smooth transition, such as fortifying the financial sector and encouraging a more diverse economy. To sum up, the proposed floating of the Iraqi dinar is a complex issue with the potential to profoundly influence Iraq's economic future. While it promises benefits like greater transparency and stability, it also poses challenges that require careful consideration and management by the government. As always, we advise staying well informed and seeking advice from financial professionals before making any investment decisions concerning the Iraqi dinar or Iraq's economy. We will keep an eye on this development and bring you updates as the story unfolds.